So, so John and Evan, as we are speaking here, we are just receiving now into CNN the first mugshots from uh, the folks who surrendered today. That is John Eastman you're seeing there on uh, the screen, I believe. And uh, that is the first of the two mugshots that we've received. We also have a mugshot here from Steve Ho Scott Hall, uh, who is one of the other co-defendants in this case. These are the first looks that we're getting of what we could potentially be seeing for several other people this week, including, <laughs> a, form, days, right. including a former president. I mean, it's extraordinary. I mean, they look here pretty much like anybody else who might find themselves in a county jail uh, facing criminal charges. Well, they're allowed to, in the case of John Eastman, it appears he wore his suit and tie yeah. for his mugshot. Uh, uh, sometimes in the, in, in, in the county jail, they uh, have to put on, if it depends on if they're being detained, uh, how long uh, they might actually be wearing uh, prison uh, uh, garb. And so um, we were told today that he was allowed to wear his uh, suit and tie and obviously, it was a prearranged uh, 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 proceeding today where he had his bond set. He was in and out, I think, in uh, about an hour. Yeah. So, you know, this was something, obviously, that was a lot more smooth than for many other defendants who might go through that, uh, that facility there in Fulton County. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really interesting. I mean, Evan, uh, you know, as we're getting these mug shots in, you were just talking about the suit and tie. We'd heard earlier in this, in this week that a similar thing could happen for Trump, that, he, yeah. you know, he would just sort of be able to keep what he has on. Uh, you know, they, they will do the photo, though, because in the federal case uh, and in the New York case, uh, they were like, we know what this guy looks like. We don't need to take a photo. Right. I think the, in the New York case, the very big concern was that the if they took a photo, it might leak. Yeah. Um, and in the federal case, they said, well, we don't really need it because, uh, after all, he's one of the most recognizable faces in the, in, sure. on the planet, right? And But I think, you know, the, the, the reason also is simply, you know, they don't want, they didn't want the, the whole spectacle of, of it, the possibility of it leaking. Um, in the case of Georgia, Georgia law allows for the release of these photographs for the booking photographs. And so, you know, yeah. we, we anticipated this was going to happen. Um, I, I'm surprised that it took this long because, I mean, this happened hours exactly. and hours ago. And the, uh, the state of Georgia says that this is releasable uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, John, you know, I, I want to bring you in on this because one of the, the factors in this Georgia case is that you're not just seeing Trump here. You're seeing all of the people around him. Uh, they're alleging a conspiracy. And we're going to see government officials and, and people, lawyers who have long legal careers, like John Eastman, for example, showing up at a county jail and getting their mug shots released. I mean, put it, this in the context of all that you've lived through, through from Watergate on to the present well, day. Conspiracies are uh, favorite uh, crimes for prosecutors because they hold everybody who is in the conspiracy to the overt acts and the crimes of the other co-conspirators. Uh, Richard Nixon was an unindicted co-conspirator. As a result, all of the evidence of his tapes was admissible when he was addressing issues related to the Watergate cover-up. Uh, that will happen here, where... Uh, Trump will be responsible for people I'm sure he probably doesn't even know or never had heard of before this case. Uh, so these are, uh, particularly in a RICO case, where uh, they're charged with forming an enterprise, and uh, I'm sure there are going to be T-shirts with all these pictures on, hmm. and the, the, the RICO T-shirt will be a collector's item one day. So uh, it, it's not a pretty look, uh, and I'm... I'm some are, I noticed none of those men were smiling. Neither of them were smiling. Uh, some people pose well for their mug shots. Others, not so well. It's I think, certainly I think no Trump laughing says, Trump says he wants to fundraise off of this. So yeah, I think... and I think some of the reporting earlier in the uh, New York case was that he considered even right. creating merchandise. I think they did, yeah. Mugs, briefly, a fake, a fake one, they yeah. did. And they were trying to fundraise off of it. So that is possibly what we might see But look, the, I mean, this is, this, week. this is very serious. I mean, right. we're talking about jail time here, potentially, for these individuals. The mugshots are just the beginning of the story right. uh, for uh, these two and the other uh, co-defendants in this case. Evan Prez and John Dean, thank you very much for doing all of that with us. Thank you, Abby.